The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Want to bring you the latest on Tropical Storm Arlene. Of course, this is our first named storm of the 2023 hurricane season. We're just two days into the season. It is again a tropical storm with winds of 40 miles per hour, so it's barely a tropical storm. It's very close to being a tropical depression moving south southeast at seven expected to be rather short lived and weaken back to a tropical depression as it gets closer to Cuba as we head into this upcoming weekend. It's indirectly bringing some rain to Florida. If you notice if you've been paying attention to Florida's weather, they have been getting wet today. That's because they're dealing with a cold front uh, that is bringing them showers and thunderstorms. This isn't helping the situation. This is aiding in the rain. But uh, if that front wasn't over Florida, Florida wouldn't be as wet as they are right now. So here's a look at it. The rain is actually starting to let up along the peninsula of Florida. And of course, that's rain from Arlene situated offshore. We've had a lot of severe weather today towards our nation's heartland, more specifically from Oklahoma south into Texas. That stays west of us, well, won't stay away from us, is this. It's a low pressure system and a cold front that is going to be moving to the southwest, closer to us tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, we will have a better chance for passing showers and thunderstorms. Let's time it all out for you. Any plans tomorrow morning, you're fine. 8, 9, 10 a.m., we're actually going to be seeing some sunshine. However, start time of the rain between about 1 and 3 p.m. OK, so after lunchtime Saturday, we're going to start to see the advent of some pop up showers. We're going to have, I think, the chance for scattered thunderstorms between about 3 and 730. Thunderstorms will diminish here after 730, but the lingering showers may remain until about 10, 11 or midnight. OK, simply put on Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, better chances for rain and thunderstorms west, lower chances to the east. As we look at Sunday, Sunday starts pretty cloudy. OK, starts dry, but it starts pretty cloudy. The clouds will be on the decrease Sunday afternoon. So I think the sunniest part of Sunday will come after lunchtime on Sunday. So friends, if you're heading out to the golf course tomorrow, do it in the morning. Make that tea time 8, 9 a.m. OK, in the afternoon, especially as you head towards the mountains, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, that's where things could get a little hairy. Lynchburg South side, you don't anticipate seeing as much rain as what you're going to be seeing in the NRV and Highlands. Sunday, we're dry, cooler with increasing sunshine. I think Sunday is going to be a little prettier in the afternoon than it will be in the morning because of that cloud cover left over early. 63 Lynchburg, hot spot right now. Look at Roanoke at 70, 61 Danville, 60 Withville, 63 Blacksburg, Hillsville, and Galax. Highs tomorrow, upper 80s. Average high supposed to be in the lower 80s. Going to feel more like mid to late July out there for us tomorrow. Very, very warm start to the weekend, but temperatures go down big time on Sunday. For tonight, the showers hold off. Skies are fair. Overnight lows about 54 to 61. Three day zone by zone forecast showing the warmest day in the NRV being Saturday. For the Highlands, your rain chances start soon after lunchtime tomorrow. And in Southside, you're going to get close to 90 tomorrow, but look at Sunday. About Oh, 10 to 15 degrees cooler, 75. In Lynchburg, 90 Saturday, 76 Sunday, back into the 80 to 85 degree plateau Monday through Friday of next week. Across the Roanoke Valley, you're looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, roughly between about 2.30 and about maybe 9.30. Sunday, Monday, we're dry, spotty showers Tuesday, drying out Wednesday and Thursday. Today, we forecast a high of 87. The actual high was... Uh, 88. $10 in the pot, $20 so far raised for the Community Foundation of the NRV.